All right, we're downstairs where we're about to do some uh, some fiber testing for y'all. Uh, let's just talk about our setup here real quick. Uh, we are live streaming right now, so um, kcsv.org slash live stream. Um, anyway, we've got uh, you know monitor there. This is my uh, laptop. It is a HP DV7. Uh, it's got an i7 uh, second generation processor. One terabyte drive uh, supports wireless N, and um, you know other than that, stock standard laptop. Um, let's see. Now I was telling you earlier about the uh, Netgear router. So here's the box for it. You can see there are some details. It's dual band gigabit. Um, I mean, you can see the performance level. It talks about speeds up to 1750 megabits per second. Big range. We will find out if that's the case. Um, yeah. So, you can find out more details, of course, about that. Now, what's interesting is, of course, most hardware devices right now, say 99% of them, uh, support a maximum of wireless N, uh, wire wireless connectivity. S AC is so new that uh, manufacturers haven't start, uh, started to include it on their internal hardware. So what do we do? Well, we go purchase this thing. This is by Netgear as well. It is the A6200 USB wireless AC adapter. So pretty easy. Uh, it's actually plugged into the stand right now. It unplugs from there and then you can plug it directly to the side of your laptop if you so desired. So we will see that in action here in a second when we do some testing. And here's the box for it. Um, again, we see some speedy stuff there. Um, interesting, not the same numbers as on the router, but I think I know why. Um, and that is because in the small print of the AA6200 USB adapter, it tells us that it supports a maximum of USB 2.0 which can become a problem if you're trying to transfer or pass through a gigabit signal because uh, USB 2.0 is a maximum of like 450 or 480 megabits per second. So already we have a bottleneck. Anyway, uh, we will begin testing and uh, we'll be back shortly.